Hi, my name's Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Okay, so thank you to some people in the crowd who helped me purchase uh, two magnetrons. One of them has arrived. It's the OM75P20, the higher power of the two. This should go to about a thousand watts, just over a thousand watts. And uh, it is a little bit bigger than the one that was on there, and uh, it has a slightly different head to it. Uh, but I'm told by the maker of the supernova that it should work. Uh, it was well packaged, so thank you to the supplier on eBay that provided that. Now, I want to just draw your attention to the fact that on the supernova itself, if you look at the orientation of the supports uh, for the uh, magnetron here, the uh, Galan's magnetron, which I'm still waiting for. So the direct replacement for this, I'm still waiting for. Um, that has the uh, a different orientation to this Samsung here. So I'm going to have to do some modifications to this uh, Samsung magnetron to be able to uh, place it in here. Uh, what I probably will do is wait for um, the Galan's for my first testing. So I'm hoping that's coming from uh, in the next few days. Uh, that was sent from Israel. This one was sent from Italy. Now, if you look at the head and you compare the head to the inside of uh, the reactor. So if we go into the reactor here, you can see in there that, that it has this damaged head. Now, the maker of the uh, supernova said that you can avoid this to some extent uh, by placing some uh, fused quartz or borosilicate over the head. So what I'm going to do is I've, I've got this old... Um, uh, tube here that was used in another uh, Nova reactor and I've marked off the width of the uh, waveguide there and I'm going to cut that with the high-speed drill uh, to go over the uh, tube um, at the end here uh, to protect the um, the end and hopefully that will prevent uh, this from happening again so um, I will show you cutting that, hopefully. So in the uh, Pro Kit here, I have uh, a cutting tool, and I'm hoping that that will allow us to cut through this fused quartz. So let's see. So there is our cut fused quartz tube, which in theory will prevent any shorting from the head of the magnetron to the waveguide enclosure in the supernova reactor. I just want to close out this video by saying that I've been working on a presentation this week which is related to the supernova reactor and much of Lena. And I'm asking the question, are big science projects fighting against what nature wants to do? Are there lessons to be learned from problems in Tokamaks and the Large Hadron Collider? I'm hoping to release that on the 15th of May 2020, which is tomorrow. So thank you very much for your time, and I will see you in the next video.